In this video, we will speak about the Amazon Assistant Virus or the EE.HTE Virus and how we go about uninstalling or deleting this virus. Now I'm doing this for a reason. First thing I want you to know, the most important thing I want you to know is that it is not a virus. I repeat, it is not a virus. Your computer is not infected in any way. The Amazon Assistant app is just, maybe has a glitch or something and it is just freaking out. Now, to stop this from happening, if you're looking at this video, you should know what I'm speaking of. What happens is that we have on your computer like once every five seconds, between five to ten seconds, a window would pop up, a blank window, sing a uh, C, C slash Windows, some Amazon Assistant dot E. Amazon Assistant slash EE.HTA, something like that. It's going to be a blank window and it's going to keep popping up every five seconds. But I think in this video, that there's probably like a hundred of them on your computer screen right now. No, uh, it is not a virus. The app is just freaking out. So to stop it from happening, what you simply do is uninstall the app. That's it. Now you can't uninstall an app very easily if you if, if it is currently running, all right? So all you do, go to Task Manager, see it's Control R, Delete Task Manager, and go to Processes, find the Amazon Assistant, and uh, we just stop it, all right? Uh, why did I think I went to Processes? Then I I clicked uh, End Process. I think that's what I did. Now from from then, all you do is go to Add or remove programs, find Amazon Assistant, and uninstall. Left, right click, go to change, remove, remove app. And that's it. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because there are many people out there taking advantage of hapless and innocent internet users. Now, if you type in aa.hta, on Google all the results you will see people in forums panicking and uh, the help they will be getting will be saying okay download this malware removal software I downloaded two none worked I downloaded a special a next special uninstaller it didn't work now when you download the malware removal software whatever it will it will tell you that indeed your computer is infected. Now, the reason why it will tell you that is because um, if you do a, a scan with a malware software, if any anything pops up <laughs> without your permission, it the program will see this is malware, right? Once that option is ticked, and most likely it is ticked, it comes ticked by default. So if you don't, if you go on these forums and you follow the instruction, you will download it and um, it will tell you yes your computer is infected but then when you remove all the infections and restart the computer it will keep continue popping up now what I did what I don't like is the instructions are like this these guys these websites they're telling you download five of these malware remover stuff Right, and they keep saying, "Oh, it's a very long process, and you can't just del del delete this virus right away." So what you have to do is, uh, after you run the malware software, after you do the scan, you need to get take the log of your results and send it to them in an instant message, or email it to them, and they will reply to you, reply you and tell you what you have to do from there. Now, people, please. Do not do that. If you do any, any sort of antivirus scan, the results of that scan has all sorts of information of your, of, about your computer, everything about your computer, way more than just your MAC address. Right now, uh, if you send that information to them and 
they reply to you saying okay you go in this folder you change this and whatever what what you have to do what you have to, what you're actually doing is giving the people the exact location of your computer on the internet right and they could get you to change your change your comp your computer settings so that they are the host and if they do if you allow them to do that then it doesn't matter what firewall you have they will have 100 percent access to your computer because you're telling your computer i am giving this person permission to do whatever they want then they will go and get all your information they basically have your computer right now i don't know why when i go on google there's no one saying it is not a virus i've seen a, a sort of forums and all the forums I, I only see people panicking and people taking advantage of people panicking no one else nothing else right so uh now you know please spread the word please 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 do not send any scan report to someone on the internet you're giving them all of the information uh, about your computer you're giving them the address of your computer on the internet they will have access to it they will try to change something and they will become the host and then everything's in jeopardy they can get all your passwords and everything so people be wise peace out oh since you're here you can look around the channel a little bit uh, I do poetry videos so uh, if you're into that Christian poetry hit subscribe and you'll get some uh, hopefully uh, once every week I should be able to post one alright take care